The first episodes of the Legacy of the First Blade story arc for Odyssey will release on December 4th, so really, really soon we got a lot of new info, a new trailer, and of course the weekly reset happened with the new live event and more. So yes, everything you need to know in this video. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated, and let's go. Let's of course start with the DLC episodes. Ubisoft will be rolling this season best content out in special episodes, with the first one called Hunted, releasing on December 4th across all platforms. In this first episode we will discover whether Darius the first wielder of the hidden blade is a friend or foe while also meeting new characters according to Ubisoft. We will also be engaging in gribbling naval combat, you see that in the trailer as well. We will be fighting new and powerful enemies and uncover revelations about the Assassin's Creed universe. So yeah, not gonna lie, that sounds really really good. We also see some of those new additions in the trailer as well, like the new hunters with the cool masks, likely the agents of the order of the hunters that we have to kill. We of course know that thanks to the trophies that are already live for this first episode, we see their tamed animals there as well, but also these guys with the big shields and what is that flamethrower for on our ship okay okay pretty cool maybe a new upgrade or something so yes it's a really cool video i will show it at the end of this video for if you haven't watched it yet so that people that already watched it don't have to watch it again in the middle of this video. Ubisoft also notes that the choices should be present in the DLC episodes with decisions that will impact the relationships with the characters you meet. New equipment will be included, yes please. New special abilities that we of course already saw in a new ability window that we already discussed in a previous video and there should be more. Nothing about a new area because we know that at least the first episode will very likely be in Macedonia thanks again to the trophies. So maybe the two future episodes of the Legacy of the First Blade will introduce a new area that we haven't visited yet, but no info on those future episodes yet other than the names. The second episode is called Shadow Heritage and the third one is called Bloodline. Ubisoft confirms that they will be released in early 2019. We know it will be roughly six weeks after the first episode so that would mean that the second episode is likely around mid-January, likely on a Tuesday as well, and then the third and final episode of the Legacy of the First Blade will be somewhere in March. But again, no official date for that yet. All the episodes of this story arc, and also from the second story arc, The Fate of Atlantis, that will start in spring 2019, will be included in the season pass that is $40 or 40 euros. But yeah, check your local price in the store on your platform of choice. Of course, if you have the Gold Edition or Ultimate Edition of the game, then you already have the Season Pass and can start downloading these episodes the moment they go live, so on December 4th for the first one. You can also buy the Legacy of the First Blade separately for $25 or 25 euros. So that is a lot actually and makes the Season Pass a pretty good deal because you not only get the two story arcs but also Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered and AC Liberation Remastered as well and those will both release in March. And we already know the date according to a Ubisoft Twitter account, they will release on March 12th. So yes, if you want more Odyssey content, I would suggest that you get the season pass for the best deal, but of course you can also wait after the release to hear if the first episode is any good. Right now we don't know, but I will of course play through it and share my impressions for sure. Ubisoft also released some new screenshots for the legacy of the first blade that I want to talk about. So here we see Darius and Alexios like not sure who this guy is and it seems like we have to fight him as well likely during our first encounter with Darius because this is after you fall through the ground it seems like we of course saw that small teaser in the post launch content trailer this looks to be before the fight with Darius after we fell through the ground and the location you see here is something I thought I found in Macedonia but it looks to be slightly different. Other people reached out with a more likely location, still in Macedonia, but I'll show you that in another video. It's pretty interesting. There's likely a good look at one of the agents and also the other Persian style of enemies I think we have to kill. Here we are trying to take out some Spartan enemies in a burned village. And we also have to explore a sort of swamp area. There's of course a swamp area close by Macedonia. So this is likely it. And we got this shot of a child being scared because this guy looks pretty pretty scary indeed thanks to the Persian helmet. Likely one of the enemies we have to kill. So yes we get a ton of new content next week on December 4th. I really can't wait. I will play the trailer again at the end of the video. For now, let's talk about the things that happened today because we of course got the weekly reset. Because it's of course a Tuesday.
Tuesday, so we got a new live event. It's actually a mercenary live event this week because we are, of course, a little behind on them thanks to a bug that happened, so we could not play them. Of course, grab the quest from the message board, and here you will also see the new weekly quest. I will touch on that one in a second and how you can easily complete that. For the weekly mercenary, you gotta track it down. So you do that by going to the mercenary window and selecting this new mercenary. Or you can also, of course, select the quest and you'll see a marker and you just go there. It's a lady this time with a pretty cool armor. I'm not sure if we have that in the game. But again, just like the previous mercenary for a live event, she is not that hard. Like I summoned my lieutenant to help me out, but it's really not necessary. She is similar to other mercenaries in the game. The reward is of course different though and really worth it. So totally do the live event even if it's easy. For the Ori Kalkum and a pretty nice epic axe for 100 players. Giving you adrenaline per hit and extra damage with the heavy bladed weapons. Okay, maybe that perk is not so nice for the hunter players. But still completed of course for the Ori Kalkum and some nice XP. Just like the weekly quest that I think is a weekly quest we already had in the game before. It's called Shadow Forces and as you kill followers of Ares, daughters of Artemis and bandits all over Greece. And what is weird is that I already had some progress the moment I picked the quest up. So I only had to kill a few followers of Ares and of course you can find them by like looking at icons that have the clan leader like in the description. What you can access early in the game is of course the cave of Kratos. And for the other objectives just go to the arena, select the huntress for the daughters and the king of the bandits for the bandit enemies. You only have to repeat these challenges like a few times until you get the weekly quest completed. So it's a really easy one, especially if you start it with some progression like me. So then you got 80 new Ori Kalkum and of course do your daily quest as well. You want to keep it this week though or spend it on the Olympian gifts because the legendary item is just a ship design and I don't think you should spend your 80 Ori Kalkum on that. Like there are many cool ship designs in the game already so why spend your Ori Kalkum on this one. As for the epic items we got a helmet with assassin damage, damage for swords that you don't really need as an assassin although the movement speed can be pretty nice but I think you should pass on this one. This sword is nice but still a legendary weapon is a better choice. Maybe use it as an offhand just for the stats but yeah not worth the Ori Kalkum I think. And the mace can be nice for the offhand stats too like if you only use a heavy blunt weapon Weapon, just put this one in the offhand slot and use a legendary heavy blonde weapon like for fighting and then you will still have the increased damage from this epic item. So if you then use the flaming attacks as well then this item can be pretty nice for sure. But maybe next week we got a cooler legendary item in the store on the launch day of the legacy of the first blade. I think it's time let's watch that really cool trailer and after that I will try and see if I can finally get the Hades lieutenant. <laughs> Who are you? I've spent my life fighting those who lust for power. Those who slaughter, who feel superior to all else. They're here now, burning down villages and killing innocent people. What are they looking for? You. You and your kind, the Tainted Ones. Even more reason to keep to the shadows. It is your fate to die like the rest. Sometimes I think about a simpler life. As long as they exist, we will never be safe. Send everyone. Okay, it's that time again to watch me suffer as I open these Olympian gifts. Let's just get it over it. I got my newly earned Ori Kalkum. We'll be spending it. Come on, epic item, of course. This is a very heavy staff with assassin damage, crit damage, and adrenaline per crit. Not bad. Not bad. Again, offhand weapon. 
you might want to use that for an assassin player. Okay. Not what we want, of course. Not what we want. I'm gonna try it again. So much epic items, like I got 10 in a row or something. Another one, of course, the spiked axe on the damage of warrior damage. Again, I wanted a warrior hunter uh, damage build, like I said in previous videos. Might want to include this weapon, might not. Well, actually, I might. Well, that is about it for today. Of course, I still have more Oricalcum left, but I will save that for future videos because I got some cool ones planned. So yeah, subscribe, of course, for everything as a Screwed Odyssey if you haven't already. Like this video to support the channel. Check out my recent video where we discuss the legacy of the first Blade, like some things we already knew, some speculation. I think you will like it. And I will, of course, speak to you next time. Goodbye.